okay, we've just finished the Les North America Championships here in sunny Kingston. Um, good news for Canada, top three on the podium. Lee Parkhill, first place. Dave Wright, second place. And Robert Davis, third place. So, Canadian team, we've had a good time. Um, fourth place went to Greg Galoon, he's not Canadian. So, for us, the great regatta, we've done a lot of training here. Um, but it's just one more step on the way to the uh, World Championships, which we've got in November. Um, the boys are happy, lots more training to do. And yeah, good end to the event for us. So, yeah, Maple Leaf on every step of the podium. Uh, well, started out on fire, winning all the qualifying races. Uh, and we have three races each day in finals. Um, just sailed a consistent series. Uh, the first day I had three threes, and then that put me in a position today with doing three races. We were going to get two drops, and I hadn't sailed a drop race yet. Uh, so all I had to do was beat second place in one race today, and I would clinch the title. Um, so. Lucky enough in the second uh, upwind of the first race today, I passed him and stayed ahead and yeah, clinched the title in the first race. Um, that's not very well. I you know, just, uh, just, just not quite uh, getting on the right side of things and had, uh, had a bit of a hard time just closing some things out. So um, yeah, I wasn't able to um, put much pressure on Lee, which was too bad or, or close the pressure out on him. So, so yeah, I came second. I'm, to be honest, I'm a little gutted. I, I uh, just I don't know quite what, I, what was what was missing, but but um, oh well, that's 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 the sport, I guess. Sometimes you lose. Uh, had a pretty good day out there today. Uh, I was six points behind Greg going into the day, so. Uh, I needed to put, put a few boats in between in all the races, uh, especially with the second drop kicking in, I knew it was going to be tough, so I was able to have two good first races today, a third and a second, with Greg just a couple boats behind in each of those, uh, and that actually evened it up, so we were tired going into the last race, uh, and then I had a pretty shocking start in the last race, but I was able to get a lane for myself on the left side, uh, I was a bit lucky to have the lefty last as long as it did. Came in to the top, just behind Greg. Um, got to beside him on the run, and then I was able to extend a little bit on the run, and then picked the right gate at the bottom, and that kind of sealed it. I uh, was able to win the last race. Uh, it was really challenging, actually. Conditions were all over the place, but I tried to remain consistent, and in the end, it ended up working out. Um, it was pretty hard. Brenda was an amazing sailor the whole event, really hard to beat. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it. These kids are really young, but they're really good, so it's good. Participating in Europeans in August, and we did well there. And that's pretty much it for the summer. <laughs> pressure variance. I mean, we probably got one race in about 15 to 18 knots, and then another race starting out in probably like six. So it was really up and down and really shifty. Um, but it went well. I had a 7-2-1, um, and I came second overall by one point. Um, so it's a little bit of sweet. I mean, it's just disheartening to see all of the opportunities for one point early in the regatta, so it really hits home about every point matters, or every point counts. Um, but I mean, I sailed well, so I'm not too upset. Uh, I had a lot of fun out there. Um, I think a lot of my training is coming together, so uh, I got some things to work on moving forward, and then uh, we're back here for the Cork regatta, and then um, some more training before we head to World, so it's really nice to have a good result before heading to China. Oh, 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 oh,